And welcome back to part two of Star Wars Jedi Fallen. So, in the last um, episode, something really bad happened. Um, the game or the recording device that I had only recorded my voice and I was I was pissed so I don't know what to do but I did post it anyways because I had to post it and I was behind schedule uh, for editing and then putting it all out there I had no other choice but yeah that happened and it was super annoying I was actually pissed for that but yeah what, what was I supposed to do it was a bad start to the bad is bad start of the series but the gameplay it is actually really amazing. I mean, the first episode we saw Prof getting killed by the second sister. We met the second sister who hunts Jedi's, and now Cal is trying to make babies with Siri, uh, Seer, yeah, or I'm presuming that's what's gonna happen. Jedi babies, you know, just running around using the Force on each other. Pew, 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 pew. But yeah, that would be fun right there. Um, but yeah, um. That's more now we're in Bagano or Bagano. I'm not sure Bagano. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's how that that's how that's how it, that's how the give the 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 thing is. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Wait, hold on. What am I doing? Like like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share with a friend, family, your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, or your husband. All right, your aunties, your uncles. Share it with them. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. Say, yo, there's this dude named Hiru that has an amazing YouTube channel. And he plays a lot of games on it. You know, say that. And they might subscribe. You never know. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And we're in September already. And I have 43 subscribers. So, and, I pl and I'm not, I'm not going to lie, but I'm, I appreciate all 43 of you. I love all of you guys. Um, so let's get on with the gameplay and let's see what happens when I'm Pagano. <laughs> Whoa, that's a nice sand fly there, Cam. Okay? okay, um... I saw a ditch coming in front of me. I want to check what this is first. La 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 Hey there, little guy. Who's on it? What is that? <laughs> Exploring, to be honest, I mean that's what it said. I mean that's what I saw in the last episode. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, get out of the way, man! Yes, man! Who are you? Oh, what are you, people? Um, okay. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Yeah, I think I'll do that later. Uh, gotta say, please to jump. Uh, yeah, meditate, we can do that later. I just wanna explore the game, basically. Whoa! Okay. Can't do that, I'm guessing. Can't climb that, I guess. 
this way then. BD-1, I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on, y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. Where do I go? That was a thing right there. You needed a meditator with it. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Could be, yeah. That's something over here. Yes. That's a really big bug. <laughs> After boggling eggs in the pack fought back. Dead. Boggling studies. A dead flock killed by boggling when it attempted to raid their nest. I like the sound of it. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like right, No way they're here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Get across this gap somehow. <laughs> Zip line? <laughs> 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 Whoa! How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? Huh. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. Hell! 
of the force and lifesaver attacks, highly aggressive, tremendous speed, powerful stamina, and lightsaber resistance. Whoa. Okay. What a huge... Oh. Boggling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family?
I just try it and it works. Yeah. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Research node. notes on the energy spear left behind by the researchers on the Ooh. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Hold on, I'm coming. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Nice. Ledger. Someone lived here for some time using this ledger for storage and provision. Pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, the scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Yeah, that's where I was headed, too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place.
That matches with this material. as hell. Whoa! Okay, I like orange. I like orange. Uh, move. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Surprises. Whoa. It's like war zone all over again. That's better. Thanks, little droid. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. So, how'd you get here? I don't remember. Muggle entry. The journey begins. Cal, Ca Cal Castus, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Braca since Order 66. Cal joined, the, uh, Cal joined the scrapping crew and lived in the hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend Prof from a deadly fall. Uh, this promoted the, ruth the ruthless second and ninth sister to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Siri Junda, or Siri Junda and Chris Dritus. I'm so sorry for butchering their names. Now they had, now they find, now they find themselves on a remote planet, ba Bogano, ready to, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Very interesting. I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Right, now I can come back up again. Uh, I almost fell down. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? <laughs> so what was in there? New emitter acquired. Arno Eno Cordova. Test that out next time. I'm just gonna check out. Hey, BD1. Let's try it out. 
That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Mapped everywhere we've been. Locked. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. more help. was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Traveling to the vault, the tool, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice job. Grace might like these. something in there? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. tricks. You can show me that Sorry. shortcut again.
don't think I have much um, experience in that, but I think you have to upgrade it as well. I'm guessing that's how it works. Sorry about your scalp link, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Did you find something, BD1? New lightsaber speed. I'm guessing this is the way, right? See there? Oh, it's on. Uh, faster than me. The thing is that he stops in between. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably.
You all right, Petey? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Damn. Good luck, Jedi. Thank you, Endo. And, oh. and may the force be no. with you. May the force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Yeah, are you gonna make love to the Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Yeah. Well, I would love hey. to play hide and go seek sometimes. Right? You want to meet some uh, friends of mine? <laughs> so, there's nothing in this. Uh, a long time ago. Can we can we put waypoints or no? Can we not put waypoints so that I don't get lost? Confused. Looking. These relic, these relics contain, uh, these relics contain materials that aren't native to Pagano. Their fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Encryption. The vault is built of carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated in metallic plating and encryptions. Uh, the glyph, the glyph, uh, don't return results in a in any galactic data bank. Suggesting the language has been lost to time. Um, 
I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Come here, beauty one. Should be a Smells worse than grease
beginning again? Oh, okay. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural as a natural defense against predators. If able to dig five meters per day. Wow. Uh, boggling, bo bogglings, bogglings co uh, collaborate in heckles or large packs, spending approximately one third of their life lifespan digging the intricate tunnel work. Wow. So. They're like meerkats. Man, I wanna go there. Hey, Sear. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! Hey, you're scaring That him. is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Yeah. Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. On the background, I saw Use two the force. planets open. That's cool right there. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Won. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a uh, Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going now? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Yeah, what's that, what's that about? I had an experience that changed my perspective, so I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? No. We're in. Uh -huh. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. I mean, it doesn't matter where we go, right? It's gonna, it's gonna go to anywhere. It looks lonely in there. Better find more seeds. New seed planted, okay. Just let me know when you wanna go. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna stop this gameplay right here. It's got the best parts. Yeah, I got the new parts. Let me try out those parts. Uh, was it the MSR? No, I think it's a switch. Right? Oh, it's, it's like a classic switch. I think I'll go with it. You know, uh, that thing. Okay, so the, over there, that that thing is like. Cordova. Okay. Let me switch to green. 
episode right where I go outside, do my outro, come back inside. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, uh, sharing it with your friends, families, and your husbands, your aunties, your uncles, your vibes. Share it with the family. Let the channel grow. Um, yeah, we're closer to 100 videos. Hallelujah. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers before the 100 video mark. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. As always, I do. Uh, take care. Be safe. Alright. And may the force be with you. Hallelujah. <laughs>